Hey everyone, this is Rebecca. Um, I'm in the weaving room nice and early. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, and I am working on a block weave. So this is going to be my pattern. I have used um, Weave Maker 8.3.4 if you're really interested in that. Um, there's some ones that you can just get for free for like 30 days online or something. Uh, Pixie Loom and it's pretty good. Anyway, so I've just used the first two rows on this top graph part and these will correspond to blocks A and B. So A will be the bottom one and B will be the top. Um, and for my project, A is purple, B is pink. So you just know that that's just how it is. So. Um, and then I just did the same thing on the side part and for the top, just the bottom two in the corners. So if you can read drafts, you should be able to do that pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my pattern for my block draft. And let's see. Oh, that's not it. Oh, maybe. Oh, there's a little mini version. Um, yeah, I'm going to just make this bigger real quick. Come on. I know you can't. There you go. So yeah, there's my whole thing. Um, all the parts that are colored in black are going to be, uh, for my weave, purple. So this part will be purple. All the white stuff is going to be pink. Um, and yeah, so once you pick out your block weave, that's kind of your first thing to do. You need to figure out how you're going to make all your boxes go like this. Um, you can use, like what I'm using, a uh, draft maker. Um, you can use graph paper, you know, whatever works for you. Um, and then you want to figure out how many harnesses you're using. And since this is technically going to be a double weave, whoo! We're also going to need to calculate that in there somewhere. So, you see my work? Yay! Um, for mine, I'm using 16 harnesses because mine goes all the way up to 16, which is awesome. Just a sec. Put that on there. Okay. So, let's come all the way. Oh, that's definitely a 16 and not a 1. It's 15. Um, so, but the minimum you need is eight for this sort of thing. Um, so then each block, I have all calculated up on here with my graph. And I know that I have 16 harnesses. Okay, cool. So that means that harnesses 1 through 8 are going to be for block A, and 9 through 16 are going to be for block B. Woo, it works out all happily. So just, you know, you have A is going to be your first half, B, second half. Awesome. Done with that. So now you're going to go up here and be like, okay, well, how does that correspond into all this? So, let me go to my first couple blocks here. Move you guys out of the way. And block waves are pretty tricky to kind of just learn, I think. Because um, in books, they just show you, you know, what I showed you on the computer over there. They don't show you how you actually set it up on the harnesses and everything. So it gets kind of tricky. Let me just I start first with a block A. And we know block A are, is harnesses one through eight. Okay. So here I have harnesses one through eight being used. It's supposed to be an eight. Down here. <coughs> And in order to make it a proper double weave, what you're going to do is have all your odds 
be the color that you want for block A. So I know that for block A, I want to be purple. So I'm going to have, on all my odds, it's going to have a purple thread. Which means all the evens are going to have a pink thread, just by default. Um, so you're always going to have, you know, color for A, color for B, color for A, color for B, switching back and forth, back and forth, the whole way. You just don't even need to think about that. You're just going to know that if you're going to put on a color A color, so if I put on a purple, the next one is going to be pink. And the next one is going to be purple, no matter what. Awesome. So you can just kind of put that in the back of your mind. Now, in order to make the block size sizes differently, then you're going to have to be, okay, what do I do now? So, harnesses 1 through 8 is, or rather, 9 through 16 as well, that's one repeat. So if I have one repeat of A, it's going to be harnesses 1 through 8. And each X represents one repeat on my little cheat sheet here. So, for the first, I'm going to do a 1 through 8, and then harnesses 9 through 16, and then I'm going to do harnesses 1 through 8, and look, I have another X there, which means I'm going to do 1 through 8 again. So, here you go, I have harnesses 1 through 8 being used, you know, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can trust me, they're all there. Um, and then harnesses 9 through 16, which means it's going to be a block B, one repeat. And then here, you can tell, oh wow, much thicker. Woo! So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then again, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! So that means that this grouping is twice as big as the other two. So you always need to work in those sorts of ratios. Um, just how things are going to work. Um, obviously, you can do this in just innate harness loom. I think I told you that. Anyway, um, so one repeat would be harnesses one through four in that case. It would still be, you know, color A, color B, then color A, then color B, la 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 la. Um, and you can still do everything exactly the same. It would just be instead. So if I went up to here, it would be like, so you have harnesses one through four would be used three times. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. On and on and on. Okay. So um yeah, there's I'm probably going to take quite a while finishing all this up and it just went dark on us. Thank you. The light is motion sensitive, so if you don't move it'll turn off. Super fun. Um, yeah. So let's see. Right now, let's see. This is a repeat of three on block A. You can tell because. Let's see. I can tell because there's. I've used harness one three times, which means that there's going to be you no know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight back there that are also in groups of three. And let's see. Um, before this, it's like a grouping of two on the back harnesses. Awesome. Um, for this sort of thing, I like kind of just tying them up in my different blocks. Um, I don't know. Just think it kind of keeps things easier. I can go back and like count and. It's easy to find where I am. Uh, I am when I'm going back to thread through the heddles once I've stopped, and I can just go back to my chart and be like, "Oh yay!" 
Um, so yeah, now I'm going to finish doing that and then slaying the reed is going to be just like what you would do for a normal double double weave. So um, your ends per inch normal for this thickness of yarn is 15 ends per inch. But if it's double layer, that means 15 ends per inch per layer. So if I have two layers, I'm going to need double that. So I'm going to have 30 ends per inch, which means you can just put two of them in the same slot of a 15 dent reed. Um, and I have the double weave video. <clears throat> it should be just like go under my name, click on my name on the YouTube link and it'll be like double weave and you'll just be like yay! Um, so yeah, this is about it. just want to show you because there's it's very confusing when you just are given a thing of graph of just a bunch of squares and they're like, oh yeah, you will, you'll know how to do this. And you're like, no. No, I don't actually. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, If I leave something out that you don't understand or something, feel free to comment. Um, there will be a second video once I start weaving. See, you guys can see how I set up my petals and everything. Um, I'm going to be doing some fancier weaves. I'll still, you know, do a little tabby weave, but since I'm using 16 harnesses, I can do twills and stuff. Um, but I'll be showing you guys how to do a tabby and then um, maybe I'll like write down in the comments or something on that video how to tie up if you wanted to do a twill on 16 harnesses like this. So I will see you next when I leave. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.